after nearly a year since the last game has been played in the XL Sports World Arena, it is finally time to bring back ball hockey. And we start off a whole new season with the Puppers against the Hot Shots. Welcome back, everybody. We definitely have missed you here. I certainly have. And we can finally get back into hockey. So for this season, it is going to be very, very different. Now, even though that vaccines are coming out, we are still taking precautions here. As you can see, I got my face mask here, as well as the other players. They will be wearing face masks for the entire game, which will add a new element of challenge into, into the game. But this is gonna be temporary until we get everything back to normal here. So in the meantime, this is gonna add quite a bit of a challenge as far as temperature, trying to breathe. So we'll see how that goes. But so far with the other two games that have already been played today, so far players have been trying to adapt to it and so far it's worked out well. Now the other change that is going to happen here is that we are extending the game time to 18 minute periods. So you're gonna get an extra 12 minutes of hockey to try to make up for everything that we have been through uh, last, last season. So for, for this season, there is only going to be one division. There were, there's gonna be no A, B, or C. We are lumping everyone into one, and it is a draft league. Now, there are six teams, each of them have a captain, and yesterday they've chosen which players they want on their team, and they, we are gonna see how that works out. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on the puppers up against the hot shots. The puppers are gonna be led by team captain Kevin Frost, who's definitely been dying to come back here. We're gonna see what, what position he decides to go for. He's been alternating between goaltender and defense, so we're gonna see where he decides to go for. As I look through the, the entire lineup, the only other possibility that it could be is Chris Valley. But again, he has been more successful as a runner, especially when it comes to being in the forward position. Now, there is a player that is go going to make their debut, Patrick Noonan, who, who will be joining the team. So this will be our first look at him. In fact, there's been plenty of new players coming into the league, and we will get to see them as we go along in the season. As for the hot shots, that's going to be led by Josh Hale. Not surprisingly, he drafted his brother into the team. And these two have been a great pair as far as chemistry. They, we have seen them work out with goals, assists with each other. They, they know what they're doing. As far as uh, who we got new into the league, we got McKaylee Parks. You have seen her in the Ironman tournament uh, last year. So this will be her RSHL debut as we will see what she can do. We also have Mike Ellington, who will also be joining in, into the league. But they will be surrounded by plenty of veterans. Uh, they got Andrew Brutton, who's been red hot in the C League. You got Kevin Darst. You got John Ireland, Mel Lewis. You got USA ball hockey member Colleen Murphy. And they also have Ryan Schaffner, who we expect to be in the net. So th this is a pretty stacked team. We'll see how that turns out. So with everything out of the way, it is finally time. It's time for the RSHL to make the Carolina comeback. And it starts right now. Officials for this game, Brian Hooks at center, Chris Lons on the boards. As we are after one year of absence, this game is finally underway. Puppers will have control here. And by the way, Paul Missler in the net for the Puppers making his RSHL debut. And the hot shots going around. Hale 
looking for his brother and second Kevin Darst. Darst has been known for a lot of stick handling as he'll pass back over to Mel Lewis at the point. Thinks about his shot and tries a shot that is blocked and cleared out of the zone. Is off. As the hot shots will reset and will push down the floor. It was intercepted by it looked like Chris Valley. And once again cleared away. The puppers will make one change already and not even one minute into the game. And they have a chance. Close up shot just wide of Ryan Schaffner. Battle on the board. Kevin Frost. Playoff. Try to look for Reich and that shot saved by Ryan Schaffner. Going behind that, tries to feed one out of front and knocked away. Back to the point. Valley dodges around one. Thinks about it, crosses. Looks for a shot saved by Schaffner and he'll hold on. And as the game progresses, we're going to see how the effects of wearing the mask is going to affect their play, because surely it's going to work on their endurance. And Mel Lewis will clear out the zone, but is it going to make the length for icing? Yes, it will. by a hot shot attempt to clear, fails. Frost taking a look and can't center it up. Goes across the center line and moving in. The hot shot's cleared out of the zone as the puppers will retry on the entry. They do cross. Remember that we have changed over to the floating blue line since last season. Reich retrieves. Centers up, looking for an opening. Save by Schaffner, rebound. No goal. No goal, they said. I don't know how that did not go through, but it went all the way back out to center. As the hot shots dodge a bullet. Valley, play off the board to right. Cleared away by Lewis, and all the way down, they'll give the hot shots a chance to change. As attempt to clear fails, there they come the other way, unable, Hale trying again, just a little wide of Missler. From the left circle, intercepted by Reich, he'll come the other way. Paul Missler. Paul Missler, you guy. And here they come the other way, calling Murphy. That's a very... Um, Unique uniform, shall I say. As they center up, trying to get around Missler and he'll cover up. And this will be our first chance to see how Missler performs here. I'm already liking how he's coming out. He's Pretty aggressive, I, I can see, as he's clearly at his crease for the face-off. Murphy, they turned it over, break away the other way for it. the Puppers. Shot and saved by Schaffner. And the attempt to clear, inadvertently blocked by our official Chris Lons. And they uh, enter the zone, going to Colleen Murphy, left corner. Try to look for a center feed off the stick of Missler. They'll come around. The puppers will attempt to clear. Stretches up. Oh, Offside is being called against the puppers, and this will be coming back as someone jumped the line. And you're gonna have to pardon me ahead of time if I get some names wrong here. One, it's been a while since I've seen everybody. And two, 
no one has the same jersey, so it's gonna be quite tough to tell who's who. I can tell you that is Hale coming the other way for the hot shots, trying to avoid the back check. He's trying to get any kind of help, but he is double teamed, and Reich will clear it away for the puppers. Off the boards, they clear down the floor. Mel Lewis will take a quick look for the hot shots. Six minutes gone in the first period. Another factor coming in, shot and that is blocked by Lewis. Another factor is now we have those long periods in 18 minutes instead of 14. This will be a real test of their endurance. You hear the call from Kevin Frost as he's trying to arrange his troops, but the hot shots will retrieve the ball in the corner. Try to find a route and finds one to Kevin Frost. He gets a little tied up but gets away. He'll take a shot save by Schaffner. Murphy will take it behind her own net. As she is looking for a way through. I couldn't, I couldn't tell. 13, goes Frost. And back the other way, and Wright can't hold on on the blue line, and they will be back away for the Puppers. I believe that, I believe that is Brigante on the far side that we were seeing there. Falo back behind the play. Brigante going down to his knees, but does get it away to Wright. Murphy gets it away. Hale the other way for the hot shots. Deeks around, can't get through Valley. Chris Valley will play to himself in the right corner. Centers up looking for a shot just a little wide the net. Reich centers up, no one available. Hot shots attempt to clear. Can't get out. Going right, Ebner. Here is Valley with a shot. And attempt to clear, successful. But it will not be an icing. It reaches Missler. Bailo will get it up over to Chris Valley. Great seek around Hale. Great moves by the Puppers. They're already impressing with their stick handling. And off a of body. Oh, and he didn't put it off the side of that. Off an open goal. Can you believe that? He's going to be remembering that one for a while. Another shot, and he scores! <laughs> Oh, the puppers. After having one open chance, converts the second shot. Redemption. We'll try to get word on who scored that one. I Ebner? Ebner from Yeah, pretty much what I thought. Kevin Ebner was the one that got the shot. So redemption from that open shot that he missed. And back the other way here is Colleen Murphy for the hot shots as she's waiting for everybody to get back on side. She turns it over. Look at from the circle, shot, save, open chance, can't get through as Murphy closes off the slot. And the hot shots not having a hard time getting through the four check. And now here is Colleen Murphy. Everyone gets back on side, Murphy will go to the left corner. Dragging her down is Kevin Frost. Darst will take it from behind the net. Trying to looking for an opening, but that whole slot area has been sealed off quite well as they clear it out. No icing as Shafter will tap it up. It over to John Ireland. Murphy tries to pass her herself. Does get around Brigante. An attempt to clear by Vela up to Brigante. 
Try to go over to the center line. It doesn't quite have that speed. Ireland will take it. He's thinking about a shot, but instead slaps over to Kevin Darst. Winds up for a shot, and that's gonna hurt for Kevin Frost. That one got right on the on the pads. And they will clear down the floor past the halfway point of the first period. Dejante with a shot, tipped on net, and saved by Shafter. Second chance, can't get through. Stopped by Lewis, who is there supporting his goalie. Frost back to the center line. He'll try a shot blocked by Darst. Bailo over to Bigante. Bailo again, attempted shot blocked. As he will try to look for a way around Ryan Reich. And so we'll drop back over to Colleen Murphy. We'll take our time, waiting for everybody to rearrange at the uh, at the uh, blue line. I know it's red, but just go with it. Centering pass, and took a bump from Mel Lewis. Race for control, it will stay with the hot shots, but it does go off a of body and it will go back to the puppers. And now just everyone just trying to gain entry into the opposition zone as they will just throw a shot on that. Look out here! Had an opening and Reich took too much time trying to make that shot. Centering pass, no one there. I was a little surprised that Murphy had took as much time as he did to try to make that defensive play, but it worked out. Here's Hale again. Feeds up over to Murphy. They gain the offensive zone. We'll try to throw a shot on net off of Hale, and that one is blocked by Ebner in a high-scoring area. There is Reich for the poppers. Back the other way. He'll take it by his own net with Dark out in front. Let's try to look for a wraparound as Darce will clear it into his own bench. With 520 remaining, Puppers lead 1 0. And it will go back to the point. Thinking about it, wrist shot is blocked. It will be out over to Reich, who puts a shot on net. Another save. Uh, he'll just throw it behind his own net. Back to the point, crosses to Valley. Valley will try wrist shot that's blocked. Attempted clear. He ends up putting it in his own bench, and we'll do it again. It's a tie up back over to the pupper shot just going wide. And coming out of his net is Schaffner who will cover. And it'll be a toss up in over to the um, to the boards. Glove down by Valley. He'll pass over to right shot and a save by Schaffner will redirect it to the corner. Centers and a one-time tip and another save by Schaffner. As the hot shots once again dodging a bullet. It's back to Valley. Crosses to Reich on the right board. Drop pass to Ebner at the circle. Pops up and right in the right place for a right but Mel Lewis. Right there, just take care of it. Three minutes remaining in the first period. Popper still hold the one nothing lead off the goal from Kevin Ebner. Thanks about entry, instead passes right 
to Ebner. He'll try a shot that is blocked by Mel Lewis. He'll retrieve his own shot and now he'll drop it over. And a wrist shot and a save. And remember that um, makes up I was telling you about? That was Thalo with a shot. Tie up on the draw. And here comes Hale. He's got the speed. Does he have enough to get a breakaway? Not quite. He's going to hold up on it. And now we'll try to pass back, but no one there. All that effort exerted. Now to Brigante. Lines up. He'll think about it. Sip puts a wrist shot on that glove save by Schaffner. Oh, shit. I guess. I guess not really, but I'm not going to Tired. <laughs> One by Hot Shots. Ireland will play back over to Mel Lewis, who will attempt to clear. He will get it. We'll try to buy some time for their team to settle down. Valley crosses over to Kevin Frost. And now over to Brigante on the left board. Gains the zone. Poke check from Ryan Reich. And we'll give it away to Mel Lewis. It will drop back over to Colleen Murphy behind Ronette as we approach the one minute mark of the first period. Plays off the boards to Kevin Darst. He gains the zone. Thinks about it. He'll try wrist shot. That's blocked. Colleen Murphy will pick it up on the left corner. From behind the net. Tries to wrap around on Missler, and he will cover. Ready? Won by the puppers, and it is Kevin Frost by his net being pressured by John Ireland, and he'll stretch up over to Ryan Reich. He'll gain the zone, trying to get around Colleen Murphy, but gave it away. 35 seconds remaining as they clash on the board. John Ireland will push it up. Tail tries to dig around. He is interfered with, and a penalty is coming up against the Puppers. Back to Ireland with a shot wide of the net. The hot shots will try to get an extra attacker on. For the time being, get one now. that throws one on net and a penalty being assessed to the Puppers with 11 seconds remaining. The call is against Brigante, two minutes for tripping. Or no, they're going to call the interference. So, uh, someone said tripping, I don't know why, because I saw clear as day that he impeded progress. So it's interference. So a power play for the Hot Shots. They only got 11 seconds left here, but it's back over to Hale. Wrist shot and blocked by Ryan Wright, and that will do it for the period. So, but they will get the rest of the power play in the second period. But for now, the Puppers having a strong showing for the goal from Kevin Ebner, one nothing after one. We are getting ready for the second period and the Hot Shots still have that power play. A minute 48 remaining as Brigante is still serving the interference penalty from late in the first. And almost gave it away, a little lazy pass, but Murphy is there to recover. And she'll drop back off to Hale. Already 30 seconds gone in this power play. They got to get moving here. And now they will gain entry. Attempt to center pass blocked by Frost, who will clear. Look back to the point. Shacker will push up and back over to Colleen Murphy. Take it in. Murphy. Drawing, drawing. 
still taking her time. She still hasn't gained the blue line. She's waiting for her people, for players to go forward, but you have to remember, you have to gain that blue line before you can progress in. So I'm not exactly sure what the strategy is. Tries to pass up and they still can't go off as Darst off a stick. Steal and a breakaway for Ryan Reich the other way. It's a shot and he missed the net wide. And this has been a disastrous power play and here they come again. Back over to the right corner. 30 seconds left on that power play if you want to call it that. And they're still holding on. So far, I don't think they've had a shot on net and the Pumpers almost got one there. Back it goes to Reich on the left circle. We'll take it back on net and trying to go for a one-timer, knocked away. And with five seconds left, that was a disastrous power play. There's a shot and wide the net and bounces in front. Attempt to clear fails. Back it goes to Frost, winds up with a shot and a stick save. Rebound, another save by Schaffner. And a much needed stoppage. Back it goes to the hot shots and they need something to get momentum going because right now it has been stuck in neutral. It's a attempt to clear. Kevin Darst will take it in front of the pupper's bench and now will cross right. The game entry finally shot on that stop by Missler up in the air and back behind the net. Frost for the Puppers and left over to Kevin Ebner on the left boards. Still haven't left their zone. Now they get out. Off the boards and they will set up trying to score a one-timer and could not settle the ball down. It was intended for Ebner. Crosses, looking for Brigante, almost cleared out. Back to Kevin Frost with a shot saved by Schaffner. Rebound just a little wide. Brigante with a shot, knocked away with a stick. Cross with a shot, from over the shot. And Mel Lewis will clear it up to center. And the hot shots will try to put one on that. It was blocked. Kevin Frost. Here comes the other way here. Ebner attempted. Shot is blocked back over to Brigante and back to the left boards. There's a shot by Frost just wide of the net. And it's back over to Hale for the hot shot. He'll wind up for a shot. That's blocked by Frost. Poke check from Frost. We'll take it to the corner. Being pinned up there. They're going to let him play for now. The hail survives all that. He's hearing the call from John Ireland, but instead goes cross over to Mel Lewis, who's wide open. Here's a shot just wide of the net. And Brigante attempts to clear, get into post check from Hale. Can't get through, and Ireland is forced out. Off a of foot, and Ebner lost sight of it, and back to Mel Lewis for the hot shots in his own zone. Will play off the boards and attempted tip in. Was that in? I well, it doesn't matter now. I didn't see if that ball entered the zone legally, but it will be back to Mel Lewis on the right hand boards for the hot shots. Kevin Darst on the right boards. From the circle, wrist shot saved by Missler. He lost sight of it for a moment, and he'll fight through to cover. Hey, let's 
One by the hot shots. Gerslin trying to bat one in, but instead goes to the left boards. One handed up by Ireland. Darth takes a quick look, trying to avoid some pressure. He'll throw one just wide of the net. Brigante for the puffers, trying to clear the zone, unable. And now finished off by Chris Valley. Right, going to the right. He'll get a return pass, wrist shot, and off the glove of Shafter, who will cover. Hey. Hey. Back it goes over to Frost with a shot, and that I believe that reads Schaffner. Back it goes to Frost. He'll try another shot saved by Schaffner. And then now they're going for long bombs here. Crosses to Valley with a wrist shot and a glove save by Schaffner. He's been seeing see plenty of those. Now back the other way for the hot shot. Tries to put one on net off the side of the net. Back it goes over to Ryan Reich for the puppers. Reich waiting. Thinking about it, and now we'll play back to Chris Valley at the point. Rushing in was Mel Lewis, a little too aggressive, but a block. And here they come the other way. I believe that's Mike Ellington, one of the new guys. Here's a shot, and that is thrown wide. I believe it went off a body, but here they come back the other way. Bailo trying to cross over. He'll find Ebner trying to center up for Ryan Wright. An open chance saved by Schaffner. A wide open chance for Velo. And he'll try a one-timer misfired by Kevin Frost. Go, go, go. Ireland goes left, finds Hale. He'll get a return pass from the left circle. He'll wind up for a shot just wide of Missler. Tries again. That also goes wide from Hale. Ireland tries to center up. We'll find Hale again. Now back to Lewis, which is blocked by Velo. And Darce waiting for his team to tag back up. Waiting for everybody to move around. And... Yeah, I was going to say, you better get back on side, Gerslin, as that goes wide of the net. Kevin Frost waiting with nine minutes remaining in the second period. We're at the halfway mark of the game. It's the ceiling, but remember, we've implemented the new rule that if it hits the ceiling, play will continue. Turnaround shot by Hale. That's blocked by Brigante. And cleared out as... Darst will play off the boards, but ends up going past the safety netting and out of play. This will come back to the neutral zone. Yeah, ice a couple if you can. Trying to fight for it, and now here they come. Here's Brunton trying to get through, but Missler gets it away from danger as Brunton will clear out. Gerslin and Ebner chasing it down. It is Ebner with control for the puppers. Centers up. A little too slow of a pass, but Brigante will get it. Looking at a double team, he'll throw it back to the corner. Centers up, and that is a save by Shafter. Okay. Yeah, they will. What the goaltender's momentum? No, uh, this dude here, the red helmet's momentum. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so a uh, 
Yeah, another one of those where I messed up on the names that you read. I've been calling Brigante, that's actually Cle Clement. Clement. <laughs> it's been a whole year. Give me a break. Yes, that's behind the net. Back to the point here he is. Valley with a shot that is blocked. Taking a quick look is Brunton. And he'll backhand it. Not hard enough. He turns it over. Centers up and intercepted by Hale, who will take it the other way. They're in the midst of a change right now. As it could have been a three and two, but instead it becomes a two on two. Hale trying to find a way out of there. Centers up and tries a one timer, interrupted, and that goes wide. Another shot is blocked and attempt to clear fails. Kept in by Mel Lewis. Clement trying to clear it out of the zone, unable. Hale trying to fight through for a chance. He'll try to center one up, and that is blocked by Valley. Here comes Reich, and it turns into a two on one. Goes to an open man, backhand shot saved by Schaffner, and keeps this one nothing. Just clear out of the zone, it'll become an icing. Five minutes remaining in the second period. Still looking for another goal here. We haven't had anything since the first period. Yeah, bad pass there. Turned it over. Wrist shot that is blocked by Ireland. Back to Frost. He'll tap it over. Shot saved by Shafter coming from Reich. Hey, 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 hey. Try to look for a stretch pass off the board. Does get through. Oh no, they oh he would have scored, but it was offside. Yeah. I'm sure that would have beaten Missler, but he but he held up. Gerslin attempts a clear in. It was blocked by Reich, but does get it on the second attempt. We'll try to wrist it in, and we'll be back to the right corner for Kevin Frost. It is Ryan Reich on the left boards. We'll gain the zone. Waits for a shot. He'll try one low roller, and that is stopped by Schaffner. From the right corner. Kevin Darce for the hot shots. Looking for a, a, a route. Unable to get out of there, but he will get help. Was, once again, what I believe was Ellington. And Brunton with a shot saved by Missler. And stretch pass finds Ebner. He'll look for a shot. And where is it? And he And that's either going to be that's either going to be Edgar or Reich. We'll get the official word on that. But that was right underneath Ryan Schaffner. He had no idea what it was, but it was slowly rolling toward the back of the net. Back it goes over to Reich. Reich will get another chance here. Oh, what a save by Ryan Schaffner. Reich had a great move trying to go around, but Schaffner flashes the glove on the low side. That is just pure chance. 
what Schaffner just did. Here's a shot from Frost that goes wide of the net, and he will cover. I'm pretty sure that Schaffner is wanting his team to step up now because he, those shots have been coming his way for quite a while now. Okay, as it goes back to Frost, and that blocked wide. Yeah. It'll go right over to Valley, just outside the circle. Back to the point. Frost with a shot. That is blocked, I believe. Back it goes over to Reich one more time. Feeds left. Thinks about a shot. Save. But try to get a second chance. Rolls wide. They will head to the boards. Valley crosses. Ebner centers over to Reich in the slot. Trying to drive it back in, and the five hole closes up. Schaffner comes up big once again. Won by the hot shots. Bell Lewis will attempt to clear. Unable to clear. Frost with a shot. Saved by Schaffner will head to the right corner. Less than a minute remaining in the second period as they will clear down the floor. Trying to beat the icing call. They beat the icing. And attempted center and intercepted by Chris Valley. That was a great hustle to beat the icing call. Love down by Hale, who has a chance here, and a great save by Missler with the blocker. So all of a sudden, the hot shots have momentum, but they got to get something in the next 15 seconds. As Clement will attempt to clear, fails back to Lewis, who will try and shot into the corner. Rebound chance, can't get it on. Three seconds left, centers up, intercepted. That will be the period. So the Poppers put another one on the board, and it is two nothing after two. Third period is about ready, and we are underway. And by the way, the second goal was credited to Ryan Reich. I had to take another look at that, whether that it was the initial shot or if he just poked it in. But in any case, 2 nothing for the Puppers. As is Brigante playing around the real one, the one I've misidentified the whole game so far. And down the floor and Mel Lewis will backhand it and gave it away to Ryan Reich off the foot of Hale. Hale will recover for the hot shots and they need something to get momentum going. Lewis will play off the boards. It was intending for Darcy. Got bumped by Brigante. As Wright will play upwards and can't find his man. Ireland will play around over to Mel Lewis. He gave it away as well. Backhand chance just stopped with a toe by Schaffner. As Hale the other way goes back to Jars with a shot saved by Missler. It is loose. Attempting and he scores! Hard to see who that went off of. It almost looked like an own goal, but uh, in any case, the hot shots are back in it within one. And uh, there is an object on the floor just away from the play. I'm not sure what that is, but it was found back behind. And so the hot shots finally have something to go on. They've been waiting the whole time to get one by Missler. But here they come the other way. It is 
Reich and he squirrels one on and where is he scores? Well, Calanova is bad from Ryan Reich. As it looked like that he was going to go back behind the net, but suddenly reversed it. And Schaffner is going to appeal this call here to Chris Laws, but it does not look like that he's going to win that argument. So the an unassisted goal to Ryan Reich, his second of the game. As the Puppers just had a quick answer for that goal, and a shot just goes high of Schaffner. Schaffner was probably arguing that he was interfered with, but uh, the refs did not buy it as that ball goes out of play. But that was a great move by Reich. He faked going behind the net and then just suddenly throws the reverse. A very creative play by Ryan Reich. Shot from Ebner was blocked. Second chance. Still can't get through. Back to Reich. Go across. Cross with a shot. Ace. Oh, now they're going to call no goal. Official Brian Hook said it was a crease violation. So no goal. Well, that's the first that I think we've had that. A goal overturned because of a crease violation. As Doris tried to hop his way through, but it's gonna be Chris Valley. Try to chip to himself, now plays back to right. He'll try a shot wide of the net. Here's John Ireland the other way for the hot shots. He'll just chip to the left corner. He can't take too many more of these as they are down by two once again. Off the boards and will find. It looks like Zalo. And now a crossover to. Abner centers to an open man. That is Valley. One timer and save by Schaffner. A quick answer for that one timer. Frost for the. Sorry, that's Darst for the hot shots. Ireland will once again just clear out of the zone. But they really need to get something going here with 12 and a half remaining. A little slap pass over to, looks like Velo and is saved by Schaffner. Attempted clear, it's out of the zone, but the Puppers once again retain control. And good back check by Hale to play off the boards. He's starting to step up for his team now. Shot is blocked by Frost. He'll try again, instead crosses over to Ireland. Tries to get everyone in place, and rushing in was Ebner, intercepting the pass. Backhanded, back over to Ebner. He'll play over to, to Clement. Back to Gerslin for the hot shots. Rush over to Ireland. He'll play at the point. Trying to get everyone moving. And now we'll go over to Darst at the center point. He'll wrist one just wide of the net. He'll try again. Bouncer and try to get to an open man, but that ball was just too hot to handle as Missler juggles it and will cover. On by the Puppers and Frost will go behind his net. 11 minutes remaining in regulation. As the Puppers 
push through behind the net. Tries to center up, was looking for Reich, I believe, but that pass intercepted. He'll have to try again from the left corner. Here in the call, and now we'll play it back over to Frost. And a great block, and here they come the other way. It's gonna be Ellington with a shot, and that's wide. Brigante will pass over, and now intercepted by Mel Lewis as they tag up. And now he'll think about risking one that's blocked. Fatigue may be factoring in now. We've been seeing some dump ins from the hot shots, and they've been taking their time on their shots, too. Here is Clements. And he's got to be careful here. He's trying to avoid the too many men call. And now an open chance. He scores! And this time, it will count. Keith Kravitz will make it 4 1. That was a great stretch pass, and he was waiting there wide open. Not much that Schaffner can do there. He has been doing everything he can to keep his team in the game. When you're facing one-on-one, -on -one, there's not much you can do about it. Here's Ireland. He'll dump over to the right corner. Picked up by the puppers, and this has been a pattern in the third period. They've been... Pushing the ball to corner, and now, oh, they almost had another breakaway. And Ebner was waiting for that stretch pass. As Reich was trying to receive that pass. It may have been hooked a little bit, but they play on. Wrap around, can't get through. Clements. Way back, and it hops the foot of Chris Valley, who will have to reset for the puppers. And attempted to get over to Clement, but had hopped his stick, and now here they come the other way. Once again, rolling off the stick. It is Ryan Reich on the right circle, plays back to Valley, thinks about it from the slot, goes left, and a one timer saved by Schaffner coming from Clement. Back to Reich, just outside the circle. We'll wrist one on. He was probably looking for a tip from Clements, but it got blocked on the way. Brigante will play over to the corner. Clements. Valley returns it back to Clements. And off a body back behind the net. Seven and a half remaining. As it's attempted to be cleared out, and then they have a. They're blowing the play dead, and there may be an equipment issue with Schaffner. Which, uh, yeah, looks like that is the case. So, yeah, try to see what the uh, problem is. Um, is Schaffner just trying to fix his equipment? And, and uh, if they request it to the refs, they can. They can't allow a stoppage to fix that said equipment. And uh, with the clock stopped at 7.18. And one by the puppers as uh, one of the wings got a little too aggressive on the draw. And it's centered up. Open oh, Chetty's It is now five to one as the puppers are starting to run away with this one. And the puppers once again trying to get through, but this time it is 
the hot shots with control as they attempt to enter the zone. It's been a while since we've seen them in their offensive zone. But I got a feeling that fatigue may be a factor now as Schaffner covers one up from Velo. Six minutes remaining, and we we are outside that three-goal deficit. As an attempted shot from Frost is blocked, tries to get in, pushed off by Hale. He will play back behind that, but he'll have to meet Balo, who is going to center up for Reich. Open man, one-timer, and that ended up getting blocked, but Shafter will get the shrapnel from that and make the save. The Pumpers have been setting up those one-timer opportunities, and they are just taking advantage of that tired defense. Back it goes, and a tempted clear, successful this time, but they are going to call this an icing against the Hot Shots. And won by the Puppers once again. Turnaround shot from right goes wide of the net. Brunton, or well backhand it, will find Ireland. Try to at least get some life into the team as he'll play back over to Hale. Was thinking about a shot, thinks twice about it, and ends up giving away as that back check is putting on the pressure. Reich goes right to Abner. They both have two for the game. Tries to wrist one on, blocked. And yeah, it seems, seems like the hot shots are... Yeah, it's just a combination of them being tired and just the puppers not letting up on the gas. And here comes Ireland the other way. There's up and had a one-timer and it was whiffed. Brunton was wide open. He, he is one of the best shooters in the C League. And now a two-on-one the other way. Here's right. Centers went up to an open man, but poked away by, by Schaffner. Back to the point of Valley. Rushing in is Ellington. He'll spin around off of that. He'll try a shot that's blocked. From the right corner. Right back to Frost. He'll do a shot on net saved by Brian Shafter. I have to look at the shot clock for that as he stops another one. This one from Ebner. He'll retrieve another one. He'll give it away, Brunton, with three minutes remaining. Oh, got a little too fancy there. But it will go to Dart. He'll try a shot saved by Missler. He hasn't been facing too many shots this period. As Brunton trying to find a way out of the clutches of Kevin Frost, but he's going to succumb to it as they will chip in to the right corner. That was Kevin Frost with that, with that chip in. Dars attempts a clear, and we'll get over to Mel Lewis. It's just been one of those days for the hot shots. A no rest can be a factor as that is a save from Missler coming from Andrew Brunton. And dropped his stick. That's going to leave an open opportunity. And he scores! That was just unlucky as Kevin Dorst has dropped his stick and he failed on his position and Velo will get his first of the season six to one. And the clock will continue to run with such a big lead. And 
And so we can easily say that the Puppers are going to get their first win with a statement to the entire draft league. Clement will settle it down. 120 remaining as the Hot Shots just wanting to finish strong now. As Hale will just tip it off the boards. Off a of body, and it is Valley again. And tempted clear by Lewis. He will get it out. There's less than a minute remaining. There's no way that. Yeah, there's no way that they're going to be coming back from this one. The clock will continue to run with a five goal lead. So they will be joining back in black and Balls of Glory, who will get their first wins of the season. But of course, it is very early. We are just in our first game back as Darce will try to drive one on stop by Missler. That's pretty much all you have to do is just try to finish strong with such a, a big loss. As they'll one time it on, why the net 10 seconds left. Ellington centers one up for Darce, hits one wide of the net, clock winds down, the Puppers will get win number one with a dominating 6-1 win. Beats any day of last year, but still sucks. So the, I mean, there's a variety of factors in this game, but it was a dominating third period to just put the explanation point on this game. We'll be back with a wrap up. Well, the Puppers come up with a big statement for the entire draft division that they they are a dangerous team two goals from Ebner two goals from Wright this is a pair that's definitely going to be wants to be watching out for this for this season but for the hot shots the only thing you can do is just forget about it just move on to the to the next game but of course they do have some new players on the team they got some players that have been in the C division that for quite a while so th this is a tall task for them and of course, let's not forget that all the players are wearing masks for the entire game and a length in the game, which can add to the fatigue factor. So this is going to be a big challenge. Really, this can happen to any team in this league. All these new rules that they got to follow just for this season. But of course, after this draft league, hopefully we get everything back to normal here and we can go back to good old, good old RSHL hockey. But for now, that is it for the first game. And again, thank you so much for joining us back. It's great to be back here. And we'll be back with another game next week for you guys. But until then, this is Danny Wilson from XL Sports World. We'll see you next time around. If you enjoyed this game, be sure to check out the other games here on our YouTube channel at Raleigh Street Hockey. Also, be sure to check out our sponsors at allblackhockeysticks.com. You can get an all-black stick for just under $100. Not a bad deal. Also, be sure to check out our other sponsor, Hagen Hockey, which has some great hockey equipment for you. In order to get free shipping, just use the promo code Raleigh Street Hockey.